Naturally, when you deliberate on a luxurious yacht, you may not be guessing on one so big that a standard basketball court would fit within, would you? But what sort of person could afford a yacht with full diving and fishing center, a yacht fully furnished to flaunt a basketball court, two margarita makers, and many more super duper luxurious centers? Well, there's none other than Michael Jordan, of course. There is no doubt that Michael's career in the NBA is paying him really cool cash. And I heard at one point that Flick Space Jam made him pretty well too. And not to forget the 15 season NBA career that has made him one of the richest in the sports world. Getting information on and out of Michael is often termed the impossible, since Jordan has been surprisingly able to keep a huge level of his privacy away from the media despite being one of the most celebrated athletic figures for the past 30 years. Sadly, his need for privacy canceled out every opportunity for an interview to be held in his mansion in Florida. Personally, I understand that he wanted to keep his home private, and who can blame him for wanting some closure? Privacy is a priceless thing that has incredible value. Once it is lost, it can never be earned back. Like seriously, why is it that you are not yet to see the faces of some YouTube presenters? If presenters can be this discreet with their faces, I don't see why not with Michael's decision of keeping his home away from the prying eyes of the public. You should also know that Michael Jordan's mansion isn't the only thing Michael has tried to keep private. While he's known to be a great fan of yachts and has sometimes been seen in photos spending quality time on those, there has been little or no information on the yachts Michael Jordan owns. With a net worth of over $1.6 billion, there is no doubt that Michael Jordan would have spent some incredible sums to own one or two of these luxurious yachts. Mr. Terrible Let's take a good look at the yacht, Mr. Terrible. Despite what the name indicates, the yacht is far from being terrible. It has been linked to Jordan for a while now and has not been open to charter for a very long time too. So you should do the calculation on how much he spends on this. Mr. Terrible has everything and more you could ever dream of having in a super yacht. The yacht spans over an impressive 154 feet in length. This is about the length of one and a half basketball courts. Mr. Terrible also has a range of about 2,700 nautical miles. Now this simply means that Michael Jordan can comfortably move around the Caribbean for many days with ease. Trust me, Michael does that very often despite having a very prosperous career that demands his presence on the court. You wouldn't consider this boat a super yacht if not for the size it is. No doubt the spec of the boat is quite impressive. However, it is what is inside the yacht and on the decks that are the real time bomb, the real money maker. Now, on the flybridge of the boat, there is not only an open steering station, but also a full area for relaxation and entertainment. These spots are brimming with magnificent detail that would leave you salivating to spend more quality time on the deck. There's a hot tub within the perimeter of a very wet bar. Like seriously, what would you need to acknowledge that you would be having a great time while on this yacht? Okay, let's say you would want something to pass the time with. There is a 50 inch plasma screen television set that is foldable. This device design leaves you with the option of either enjoying the tropical views or watching the screen for programs like Space Jam. There's something else that makes using this television set so tempting. You don't even have to worry about being cautious about the remote getting wet while you lounge in the hot tub jets since this remote is waterproof. It also floats in the water for easy reach. Now, if this is not the definition of luxury, I wonder what other definition you may have. Of course, this is not the only deck to have fun under the sun. In the deck at the rear end of the yacht is an area for open air dining. Moving further down on the main deck, there is a fishing cockpit where you can find a live bait tank and some very large rod lockers. Undoubtedly, this fishing equipment would be perfect for Michael, who is known over time to be a devoted fisherman in addition to playing basketball. Let's say you're not really interested in all these. Let's say you are just looking to get closer to the action. There's a dive center on board the boat. Now, how cool is this? If you are up for some diving, you can stroll to the dive center, which has a Nitrix dive compressor and six full sets of diving gear on board. Personally, I believe there are six sets because Michael would want to go diving with his five kids, especially whenever he has them on the yacht. Nonetheless, if he decides to have his wife Yvette go in his stead, there are underwater cameras on board where he could easily monitor the action below the deck without having to dive into the ocean to watch them all the time. The interior of the yacht is sophisticatedly furnished in a Polynesian style combined with art deco furnishing touches for an amazing experience. There are several entertaining areas in which a dining saloon with up to 14 rooms is one of them. 
the saloon has a spiral staircase that serves as a focal point to the rooms. The staircase is uniquely crafted from Bubinga and is amazingly decorated with stainless steel. A tour of the lounge area on the other side of the dining table reveals a magical place for a kickback. It also has a cigar, which appears to be one of Jordan's favorite hobbies out on the open sea. Wondering if the yacht would have space for company? Well, for the middle of the day or end of night, there should be a full bar with plenty of room for company. Now, if per adventure the company takes the drinking to its full potential, there are rooms for at least 12 people, probably wasted people, to stay overnight in pure luxury. Not only is Michael Jordan a king on the basketball court, but he is also a king of hospitality. The guest accommodations on the yacht feature ensuite bathrooms and lounge areas. But as expected, Jordan saved the very best for himself. There is also a huge skylight with an ensuite with a very expensive soaking tub, and wood basin sinks exposed to an oceanic assortment that will engulf you with the feel of heaven. Mr. Terrible is reportedly within the net worth of about $21 million which no doubt would hardly make a scratch on Michael's bank account. Super Yacht Joy Let's quickly discuss the mega one on this list, the one yacht that Jordan has several times been linked to and photographed. This is the yacht that is estimated to cost a whopping $80 million. While Mr. Terrible may not really offer the experience expected in setting out on the open seas, this $80 million yacht, Joy, as the name states, offers the owner a true definition of pure bliss. It would interest you to know that this yacht has everything a 229-foot longboat could offer and more. This super yacht, without mincing words, dwarfs Mr. Terrible by a whole lot and is sure to do the same to almost any yacht in any harbor. Although this yacht is fairly new, having been built in 2016, it flaunts over five decks and on board this boat, there are layers of extravagance and boxes of revelations waiting to be opened. One important feature that probably must have attracted Michael Jordan to this yacht would be the presence of the massive basketball court on deck. The basketball court is on the fourth deck, giving Michael an ideal location to run a few plays with his children. You can imagine how fun and super cool it would be if you can sail through the Caribbean and still be able to play a game of basketball while on it. Doesn't it sound magical? Well, that said, there is also the possibility of turning the deck to a game stack for just about any other sport beside basketball. This is surely a great plus for Michael Jordan and his family during the days they may not be in the mood for a game of basketball. One of the many features of Super Yacht Joy is its ability to adapt to indoor and outdoor living and its versatility. The deck with the basketball court and all the other decks at the rear end can be enclosed in a glass case during winter and colder months. So, if you're scared you might catch a cold while out on a cruise during inclement weather, fear not. Joy is out to make journeys on the open sea very enjoyable. Whatever Mother Nature has in stock for you, Joy has got your back. Most of the indoor spaces are also sheathed in glass sliding doors, meaning that Jordan's wife could easily sit in the lounge with a drink in hand and still talk to her kids out on the basketball court. The game deck directly connects to the owner's pavilion, which includes a remarkable master suite with 270 degree views of the water his and hers bathrooms, as well as an owner's office and a private owner's lounge posing the utmost privacy even when friends are aboard the ship. And that's it on Michael Jordan's $80 million yacht. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think about this super yacht. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now. See you in the next video.